Hello, welcome. My name is Katie, and I'm glad that we're here. You're here, I'm here, and it's gonna be fun. Today, we've got Ear Fleek Makeup Challenge. It's gonna be challenging, probably. I've had a hard day. So I want to do this, but this is also something where, like, if it goes wrong and it's not good, then it's not good. So, uh, let me add some context, and maybe you'll you'll see what I'm saying. So, ear fleek is, I'm losing my voice, and it's loud outside, which is going to be a bad combo. And we'll just truck right through. Um, so, uh, ear fleek is an earring subscription. It is $3.94 a month now. Inflation's getting everybody. Um, it's three ninety four a month, and now um, you get one pair of earrings a month. They also have a premium tier. I'm look. I'm like reading right now. That's eleven forty three a month. I think it's just like nicer earrings, maybe. Let's click. Just a minute. Okay. So it is just it's nicer pair of earrings. So um, it the MSRP of the earrings you receive in this box have always been like thirteen to fifteen dollars. I don't know where that comes from. That's not. You can also buy earrings um, through ear flakes. You can add on extra earrings and stuff. Usually they're like on sale for like six to eight dollars, I guess. I don't. Know. But the premier, they're telling me that you get a twenty-five dollar plus pair of earrings every month. I'm looking at the pictures. They look bigger, at least. Anyway, so that's that's also an option if you're a premier earring person. But I'm not a premier person in many ways, including this. So it's three ninety four a month for me. And that's what we were doing. So it, because opening up a pair of earrings, uh, I felt was kind of boring. Um, I also do, and I'm, I'm so sure other people have done this first. I am, no matter what I'm thinking or doing, I am 100% confident that I'm not the first person to do it. And that this thing, this is included. But I do my makeup to match the earring. Sometimes more literally. Sometimes I'm just going with the flow. You know. Putting out vibes, hope they match up with what the earrings also giving. So that's what we do. Hope it's fun. There are tons of other people who do this. Search Ear Fleek Makeup Challenge. Um, I'll tag some creators I know. Do it down be below uh, if this is the type of thing you're interested in. And I always think it's fun to see what people come up with because it's, cre it's creative. So this is the mood I'm in. I'm so sorry. Uh, so let's open up the earrings, see what I got, and just dive, dive on in. All right, I do like to mention it does come in like, like you get the little paper envelope. Um, so no tracking. No tracking on this, it's just an envelope, but it is a padded mailer, which is nice. All right, and then in addition to the padded mailer, I, you get the, I, I get, and you would get, everyone who gets this gets the little organza bags, which I keep. I, what I do with these, I don't know if you guys, I'm a sucker for ear, earrings, obviously, um, for perfume samples, I'm getting the earrings out, um, like the little tiny, like three mil tubes. And I always end up with like a ton more than I want, or like I spray it once and I'm not, I don't like it that much. Um, what it is why you try it, but I think someone else would like it. Anyway, I save these and I fill them with the little tiny sprayers and like bundles and give them to people as gifts that way. Because then you're not just giving them like a rinky dink three mil perfume sample, you're giving them a sampler set in a nice bag. That's my tip for those. Hopefully it was helpful. Today, for the earrings, we've got these little hoops with fun, I actually really like these colors, uh, fun color wood blocks on them. So there's a white, a kind of poopy, fun, grungy, I think is the less gross word for it, a yellow, a mint green, and then a lilac purple. All very trendy colors. Um, Alright, so let me... Round up what I've got, put this in, and then we'll zoom you in, and we'll be going. It's a lot of steps on my end, but very little on yours. Okay, here we go. And I just thought I'd know, I know they're hoops, but the way they go in is they're studs, and it's not, it's a circle. So it's not like a hoop hoop. It's a circle stud. I thought I'd point it out. Um, so let me show you what I've rounded up. Maybe I shouldn't have zoomed in. I'll scoot back physically, and then scoot forward more. So, um, I kind of want to do a color blocky situation where just it's free flowing. I don't want to do something too structured just because there's, stru there's a lot of structure in this earring uh, with the geometry of the circle and the square. 
Maybe. You can let me know. Um, so I want to do something a little more loosey-goosey, but I want to match the colors. So what I've pulled out is I have the Kaleidos Flower Punk palette, uh, which I really like and never use. Um, so if you guys have makeup like that, you're like, yeah, that's beautiful. And you're like, yes, I'm not using it for some reason. But I thought this color matched the green in the earring. Let me do a swatch. It's called Golden Age. Um, so here we have... It's not a good way to hold these. Right? Pretty good match. Anyway, so I'm going to be reaching for that. Um, also, I want to note on the... I don't know if it'll show up. Can you see it? Maybe if I like, go this way. But there's like condensation patterns in the mirror that like are in the shape of the pans of the eyeshadow. I don't know what that means. It means I have to clean that mirror. Um, but just thought I'd note that. I don't know. Thought I'd note it. So that's well, I'm go that's the, my green color. Then from this guy, this is Huda Booty. Huda Booty. Uh, Huda Beauty. Why is this hard? Huda Beauty. There we go. Um, Mer Mercury Retrograde, which is one of my go-to palettes. I, this is one I do use. Um, it's just it's pretty. You always look pretty when you use it, uh, which is the makeup I've been like <laughs> liking lately. Which isn't always true. Sometimes I'm like I want makeup that looks cool. Uh, which you can also do with this. The shimmers are very, very good. I have my eye on the rose quartz. People raved about it. I'm hoping they do a deep discount for Black Friday. This has been on sale half off at like Sephora and stuff for a while. I don't know if it still is, but it, I recommend you can grab it. And this appeals to you. Quality. Very good. But I'm going for this purple shade right here. Oh, right there. And that is called Libra. I'm rewatching. um... RuPaul's Drag Race and like just one did whatever they're at yet now because I kept up with it I started watching anyway let me swatch Libra for you I started watching when I was a freshman in college and that was um season four and, and then I kept up to it until like season 10 and then I, I've gotten off and then I got back in with All Stars and then I was like you know what I swear I should just catch up so I'm catching up it's not quite not quite the purple it's a little it's a little bright, but I have some stuff that I think will will mellow it out. And I think sometimes if I went for this exact purple, I feel like maybe it ended up looking gray. I don't know. That's my excuse. I don't have a purple like that. I do have a purple that's maybe close for a video up coming up. I'll do a sneak peek. Alright, so this is a purple that's a cream shadow. It's this little swatch right there. Can you guess what it is? Mm -hmm. um, it's not that big of a secret itself, um, but I think that's a little closer. Not quite, not as gray. I thought these colors were going to be much more similar. And I'm actually surprised at how how blue this purple is because it didn't feel that way when I bought it and put it on. Interesting, but I I'll just stick with the powders. I don't want to I don't want to mix too much. All right, so those are the two there. I am not pulling out a matte bright white, even though I have a good one from Lethal. It's very very good. They're matte white. Um, just because, I don't know, didn't feel like it. Didn't feel like it, but I did pull out some shinies. Some shinies. So for this nice little mint green, I have a very nice, a very nice mint. This is from Copacetic, and it's Slither. It's really just pretty soft and shiny. Straight up, like, metallic, metallic mint. I thought that went nice. Yeah. So I have that slither from Copacetic. And then for like deepening up, I don't want to go too deep. Um, but I do have one of these guys. It's a thing I'm a sucker for. I have like 80 shades of this. Um, but this specific one is Hot Spice Cider from Terra Moons. Um, There we go. And this doesn't specifically like match anything on the earring, but I do feel like it kind of deepens up with that nice red, gives you a little bit of the gold, and then also just matches the vibe, right? Like it almost is like that yellow but shiny, and it flashes kind of like a nice red. 
Anyway, have that up. And then for the inner corner, instead of that bright white, I brought out also a Terra Moons shadow. Uh, this one is called Shattered Stars. Let me show you. Let me show you. Um, but I thought this would be a nice, like, inner corner swipe moment. Um, here it is. Because it has, like, that nice purpley base. Um, it's a little bit, you know, closer to that gray purple. And it shines that really pretty iridescent yellow. Thought that, you know, give it a brightness. So that's what I pulled. That's what we're going for. That's the story. Um... I mean, I primed my eyes already before I even started filming with the Etude House Proof Tint Primer. Been quite enjoying that. Uh, let me scoot in closer, and then we'll, I think I might just start putting color on my face. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is, like, yellow in the outer, and then fade to purple. And we'll find a way to squeeze that mint in there somewhere. Yeah? E. Yes. Yes. All right. So I'm pulling out this going in with Golden Age. I might deep up with Earth, Earthship if I need to, even though Earthship's not a good shade. Every other color in this palette's great. And then Sun Grazer is like S tier. It's very, very good. But Earthship is no good. So it averages out to a very good palette. Like all of like from here to here, solid, decent, very good um, Kaleidos formula. Um, yeah, like it. This, amazing. This, it crap. So it averages out to normal, but the last two throw it for a loop. Yeah. Alright, so there we go. Just placing it down. Smoothing it out. I don't know. Kind of being chill about it. Um, is that going well? I don't know. Anyway, just gonna do that on the other eye. Alright, there we go. Um, I guess I didn't think about how I would put the purple and this together. <sighs> um, because I was like, I'll just do it. And that's what I guess I'll do. I'll just stick with the initial, I'll just do it. So I'm going to grab a brush. All right, brush grabbed. I'm just going to go into Libra. And do a similar thing, but on the inner corner of my eye. And I guess I'm going to, I'm not going to try, I'm trying to get a, I'm going to try and make them not touch. Kind of like a halo eye, but with different colors on each part of the halo. I just want to point out just how pretty this color is. It is much, now that I've compared it to that elf color, sorry, um, in the pan with all the other blues here, I feel like it ends up, it tricks me into thinking it's not this warm of a purple. Like, it's almost pink. Like, this could be a blush. But um, and I'm not talking about this one. I'm talking about the one in the middle. But I feel like on my skin, it ends up looking more like this far out one. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to fluff it. Fluff it around. Alright, there we go. Did I go up into my eyebrow? Yeah. And I think sometimes, especially when... Let me know if this is crazy. Especially... I guess that's not a good word. Let me know if this is not logical or doesn't make sense. Um, I feel like, especially if I'm not doing something with a lot of depth, I can kind of go a little bigger... In like where I place the color because I don't have the I don't think I'm gonna go deeper than this we'll see we'll see no promises but I feel like right now you know like I don't know which eye is which eye that is a thing isn't it let me know if you have a really hard time with left and right in like east and west and directions and stuff because um, I have a horrible time with it but this I feel like is pretty and if the two placement of colors to find the eye you can go big I don't know anyway, I'm gonna do it to the other side no, I have to. Alright, sorry if everything looks different. Um, my phone 
was weird. Say lovey, what can you do? So, we're here. I like how this looks. I'm gonna add the mint to the middle. And we'll see, uh, we'll see if it goes poorly or goes well. Um, this is the, this is the moment. Let me try to find a brush that can do this task. All right, I found one. Uh, it's dirty on one side, but not on the other. Uh, just cause I, I feel like I wanna place it precisely. Let me also get my glitter glue. All right, glitter glue acquired. It's just the elf one. It's a goofy one. Um, it's fine. It's fine. All right, there we go. I think I'm going to take it up higher in there, actually. So not there we go. Now there we go. Is that better or worse? You, as always, you let me know. I which do we like better? They're just different. They're just different. All right, let me do the, let me repeat so we can forget and not even have to compare. All right. All right. All right. Um, so before we move on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to bring this purple farther over the screen. Blend them together a little. Maybe do some blending. Just cohesify it a little bit. Alrighty, I'm liking it. I also feel like I say alrighty too much. Um, this is the curse. No one told me that if I filmed, I'm looking for a brush. Why can't I make eye contact? Oh my gosh. Um, it's not for everybody, I suppose. Looking for a tiny brush. Let me do, let me focus. Anyway, going in now with scattered, shattered stars and star moons, that really bright purple. I'm doing that in the inner, in the inner corner. Um, I guess I could also glitter glue this, but I already have done it once and I don't want to do it. Alright, so I feel like it's really pretty and bright, but also super sheer, which is what this type of shade is. So if I wanted it to be more opaque, I think glitter glue might be the way to go. But I kind of like doing the, more, the way it goes with this purple underneath. So I think no glitter glue lets that shine. So pretty. So pretty, I think. In my opinion, this is beautiful. Um, so I want to deepen it up. Once again, let me find a brush first. Okay, I'm back. So I want to deepen it up a little bit. And I want to keep it matte. So I don't think I'm going to go in with hot spiced cider. Um, just because I like the shiny in here. But uh, just, one, just one more moment for it. Beautiful. I'm gonna risk it with Earthship. I'm gonna risk it. Risk my biscuit um, for Earthship. And if that doesn't work, I'll dip into it retrograde and that will save it. We'll save it. Um, Alright, let me go. Alright, so I think that helps a little. I'm not gonna risk any more. I'm just gonna do the same on the other side. Beautiful, beautiful, and then I'm gonna add Libra also to the under, the under zone. All right, so here's the final look. I added curl lashes, added clump crusher, also lined with these LA Girl Shockwave liners. Um, they're metallic. Uh, Ulta, I don't know if it's still going on, so no promises, but Ulta was having these as a free shipping item, and these are $4.49, and I like them a lot, and um, that's cheaper than $7 shipping. So if I wasn't at the $35, but I wanted something and it wasn't available for pickup, I've been getting these and for like three months. It's been going a long time, but um, they're really great. I love this one for the waterline because it's kind of shiny, but it's also, you know, neutrally. It really brightens it up without it being stark white. Let me tell you what it is. It is Lullaby. Um, let me show you my other ones. All right. Uh, I also got this dark, shiny bronze. Um... I got this copper because, as you know, I'm on always, you know, looking for something to replace that Glossier Play pencil. They did just come out with colored, uh, colored liners, though. 
so I don't know. Uh, they closed the New York store, so I can't go see them in person, which makes me less inclined to buy them. Um, but I got this nice bra uh, gold, coppery, love it, uh, and then this other gold. Anyway, they also have mats. They're very good. They're very good and great if it's a free shipping situation. So that's what I did to finish the look off. I also brushed up my brows and added a little more blush. So that's what we've got. Let me know what you think. I kind of feel like I matched the colors pretty well. Like I feel like I matched the vibe pretty darn well. That purple, not quite. What can you do? Let me know what you think. Any shinies catch your eye? This, I feel, is great when it's given the chance to go all over the lid as well. But that's for another video. Thanks for hanging out with me. Let me know if you got it this month, uh, your fleek, or anything, I suppose, and how it's going for you. Thank you for hanging. Like the video if you enjoyed it, or if that's your that's a thing you do. It's always appreciated on my end. Subscribe if you want to hang out, like, officially. Um, but you can also just come back. You know where to find me. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you and i hope to see you soon in the next one in the next one thanks for hanging i'll see you around bye